deriving pleasure is even too much. But yeah, if you think it's like hedonism, I mean, hey, I'll accept it. I will accept it. Crazy philosophy, Zen, all this nonsense. Oh, this is perfect. I love Joshu sees the hermits. Case 11, Joshu sees the hermits. Joshu went to a hermit's cottage and asked, Is the master in? Is the master in? The hermit raised his fist. Hmm. Black Lives Matter? Maybe? I don't know. He just raised his fist. Joshu said, The water is too shallow to anchor here. And he left. You loser. The water is too shallow to anchor here. What is this? What is this nonsense? Raising your fist? I'm asking a serious question and you're giving me this, 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 this. Stupid fist raising? Get out of my face. Water's too shallow to anchor here. Coming to another cottage, Joshu asked again, is the master in, is the master in? This hermit too raised his fist. Joshu said, free to give, free to take, free to kill, free to save. They made a deep bow. Amazing. Joshu, I love Joshu so much. He goes to one person, this person does this. He goes to another person, this person does the same thing. And he says, one, you're a loser and you suck and you don't understand anything. And he says to the other one, wow, you're like the highest master of the world. It's, it's amazing. Deep bow to you. Same question, same answer, different response. What is happening? Joshua is free. Joshua is, Joshua is free. Joshua is saying that this guy is free. Maybe the hermit, the hermit's definitely free, but Joshua is so free. He's not bound by question, answer, response, question, answer, evaluation, question, answer, evaluation. A lot of us are stuck here in this sort of question, answer, evaluation. Does, does two plus two equal four? Yeah, of course. And then you evaluate that. Question, answer, two plus two equals four. Two plus two equals four, I guess, question, answer. And then evaluation, good. Two plus two equals four, question, answer. Evaluation, bad. How, how can you change? How can you change your evaluation from good to bad or from bad to good? How does that happen? How does that work? Well, you have to be completely free. You don't have to be stuck thinking about logic. You don't have to be stuck thinking about both raise their fist. Why was one accepted and the other rejected? <gasps> Tell me, what is the difficulty here? What is that difficulty? Why can't you get beyond that breaking point? Like you're stuck seeing uh, rightness being good and wrongness being bad, suffering being bad and pleasure being good. I'm not a hedonist, boys. I'm not a hedonist. You're stuck seeing this. You're stuck seeing that things without purpose are bad and, and things with purpose are good. Why are we stuck thinking these things? Don't be stuck. What is the difficulty here? You need to be free, completely free. Joshu is completely free. He can give the thumbs up whenever. He can give the thumbs down whenever because he is completely, completely free. If you give a turning word to clarify this problem, you will realize that Joshu's tongue has no bone in it. Joshu is speaking vacuously. He has no bone in his tongue. Joshu does not say anything. He cannot say anything because Joshu is not there. Joshu is completely free. Joshu is enlightened. Joshu is dead. Joshu is in the eternal Nirvana. Now helping others up, now knocking others down with complete, perfect freedom. This is exactly what we want. However, I must remind you that the two hermits also see through Joshu. Don't forget this. Joshu is asking a question. Is the master in? Is the master in? These hermits are not being tricked by the words. They aren't being tricked by the semantic meaning of the words. Of course the master is in. You're talking to me directly. What is wrong with you, Joshu? He just raises the fist. Don't be confused by the language because the language does not matter. What you need to do is see through that and see beyond it. And there's no meaning. There's no purpose. There is nothing. And this is a perfectly good answer to any sort of question. If you say there is anything to choose between the hermits, you have no eye of realization. If you think that there is a difference between what this one guy did and what this other guy did, you do not see this eye of realization. You need to open up your third eye and see directly into it. If you say there is no choice between the two, you have no eye of realization. If you think that they are the same, you are completely mistaken. What is the difference between sameness and difference? <gasps> There is no difference. What? There is no sameness. What is it? What is it? How can you tell between the two? There is no difference. Like the eye, shooting star, like the spirit, like lightning, a death dealing blade, a life giving sword. There is no difference between giving life and taking life. When you cut things into two, you breathe life into everything because in order to see the world, you must cut it into the dualistic worldview. Your sword that gives life is the sword that takes life. Get rid of the sword and you see everything integrated. Everything is completely one. Everything is the Tao, everything is the Buddha, and everything is love and tea and thanks and gratitude. It is all here right now. Don't cut it. Don't evaluate it. Just experience. <laughs>